So if you want to monetize, where you've got to start is your business model. Now what I always say is free to attend doesn't mean no revenue or no profit. It's down to your business model. And basically there's only four different types of business models when you're running virtual events. The number one is free for your attendees to attend. And what you can use this for is to generate leads so that later down the line you then sell them a product or a service. So you're generating revenue from that business model. The second is to have them pay to attend. And this can be hugely successful if you do it properly. The third way is to offer events as part of a service that they've already paid for. So this is a subscription or a membership base. And then the fourth way is to have someone else pay for your attendees to attend. And this moves you towards a sponsorship or the exhibition style free to attend event. And what you've got to realize is that these all make money just at different stages. So if you want to monetize your event, first place to start is to decide on your business model. Think evergreen. If you want to make the most of the digital content that you create, then you've got to think about using and reusing the digital content. So with virtual events, we're in a wonderful position to reuse and repackage the virtual content that we have. And you can do this in so many ways. You can have an event and you can rerun it the following day, the following week, the following month. You can add to it, you can take things away. You can download all of that content, repackage it, put it in an online training course where you add extra materials to it and sell that. There's loads of different ways of using your content to generate revenue. And what you can also consider with that evergreen content is taking little bits of it and pushing it out to your audience for free knowing that they're going to be pushed towards your paid for events. So think evergreen and make the most of every single bit of digital content that you create. Now all too often when I spend time with organisers helping them to run virtual events, they spend an inordinate amount of time considering what to charge for individual attendees. Now what we've got to do is consider that but also look at what we can do to encourage groups and teams and even enterprises to attend our virtual events because in those hills, well, that's where the money is. We've really got to try to encourage as many people to attend our virtual events because the cost per person is so low. If we can get more people to our events, all paying a reasonable fee, then we can start to make a lot of revenue from our virtual events. So I would encourage you all to look at your next virtual event, think about the individual price, but consider group, team and enterprise. And you may even find that just selling two or three enterprise tickets for a few thousand dollars, you end up generating more revenue than you did from all of your individual tickets. So consider these other options for people to attend your event and monetize them where you can.